uh, Not the Same Family, uh, published by Ethel's uh, Books. Uh, Mr. So, welcome to our show again. Thank you. Uh, please tell us more about your book and what inspired you. Um, well, this is a collection of 10 short stories of uh, Singaporean families. Uh, they're not necessarily the same families. The uh, title is inspired by a quip from a famous American cartoon series which features a uh, round-headed kid and, and a dog. In one of these uh, strips, the, uh, one of the key characters is Grouchy Girl, um, you all will know the name, was seen uh, berating her, her younger brother by saying, brothers and sisters should not be in the same family. And that has intrigued me ever since I, I read that, because it's really an impossible situation. Uh, siblings have no choice, they have to be in the same family. It's just like the other, the other saying, uh, you should make a better choice of your parents. And you can't. You're stuck with the people that you, the families that you're born into. So these are stories of people who uh, try and deal with the situation in the families that they're in uh, because of the members of the family or in spite of the members of the family. Now, how do you get all these stories from? Uh, some of them are from life experiences, my own life experiences from my own families, and some from uh, observation for, of other families. And uh, so there might be some uh, autobiographical elements, uh, there might be elements from other families, and some are just inventions, creations if you like. Now what are the three key lessons that you've learned uh, from this project that you have embarked? Mm -hmm. Well, the first, first key lesson is that it's harder than you think and harder than you imagine. Uh, it's taken me much longer time to write these 10 stories than I had expected. Uh, the other thing that I've learned is that uh, you have to do a lot of rewriting, a lot of revision. Uh, your first draft is not going to be the final uh, thing that you, you want to get published. Uh, maybe a 20th draft, maybe a 30th draft. It depends. The third thing, the third thing is that uh, you do it for the love of it. You don't do it for, for, for the money. Uh, the money that I'm going to get from this probably is not going to be worth the effort. But the satisfaction that comes from it, uh, that's unmeasurable. Now, what would you like your readers uh, learn from the book that you have written? Uh, what would be the lesson that you want them uh, to know? Uh, I, I don't know that there's any lessons that I, I, I want to preach or let anybody know, but I want to share some of my thoughts and experiences, particularly with regard to uh, love, love for the family, love for your siblings, for your parents, and how you act up the love in your, in your own way. And that's the only thing I really want to communicate. Yeah. In today's society and into the future, uh, do you see there's a lack of uh, respect and love for the family? No, I don't think so. I think love and respect will always be there in one shape, one, one, one way or another, in one shape or another. How, how do we all choose to live that out? And uh, especially uh, when you're faced with difficult circumstances within the family, mm. how do you let love uh, guide what you, what you do, guide your actions. Uh, yes. And so could you give us one example of how you have done the same for yourself and uh, in your, your life experience? Well, my own situation would be like this, that uh, I come from a big family, a very poor family, a dirt poor family. And uh, I had a big brood of younger siblings to help take care of. Uh, plus two sickly parents. Uh, you will see some of that mentioned in, in the book. Uh, although uh, the names of the individuals, the characters and the stories will be disguised and so on. And uh, my, own, my own situation is that despite all these difficulties, uh, I think I let all my action be governed by love uh, for my parents and for my siblings. And have you found forgiveness uh, in, in your experience? Have I found? Uh, forgiveness. Forgiveness? Yes. Why would I need to find forgiveness? 
I, I, I don't think I need to find <laughs> forgiveness. There's nothing that I need forgiveness for. Yeah. And so what's next for you? Uh, are you planning to write your next book? I, I actually have a second book that's written uh, that hopefully the publisher and I will, will, will get out next year. Because in writing this book, uh, I was actually alternating between the two books. After I've written one story for this book, I couldn't continue, I need to take some time off. So I wrote stories for the other book. So I was doing two books at the same time. Uh, second book's really written, so I'm actually on to my third book. And if you had a choice uh, to give the title for your second book, what would that be? To give what? A, a title. I already have a title. And what is, what is your title? <laughs> it's called Tales from the ECP. ECP stands for East Coast Parkway and also st stands for East Coast Park. And the Tales are from that area of Singapore. So Tales from the ECP. Now, that's the working title. I don't know if we will change it. Well, once again, uh, Mr. So, thank you for joining us here at the